Welcome to Curiosity Station, where every question leads to an adventure. Today's big question, where does money come from? Not the ATM, not our wallets, but where is it created and why does it have value? Let's dive into the history, math, and everyday life of money. Money is what we use to trade for things we need, like clothes, food, and even Wi-Fi. But a very long time ago, persons traded goods directly, like banana for fish. This was called barter. But barter wasn't always fear. Just imagine trading 20 fish for one banana. Yikes! That's where money came in to make trade easier and fairer. Now let's talk numbers. Imagine you're at the market with 1,000 Guyana dollars and you'd like to buy mangoes that cost you $200 each. How many mangoes can you buy? The answer, five mangoes. That's a clear representation of math helping us make smart money decisions. Even businesses use math to calculate their prices and profits to ensure they're not spending more than they earn. And governments use math to accurately budget for the country. They also print money carefully to keep the economy balanced. Pretty cool, right? Now it's your turn. Grab some coins or paper and let's create your very own math problem. For example, if you save $500 a week, how much will you have after a month? You're already thinking like an economist. Money is more than just coins and bills. It's a system that connects us all. And math is the key to understanding it. So next time you're out shopping or saving, remember the numbers behind it. See you next time on Curiosity Station, where every question leads to an adventure.